Hi students, today we'll be discussing about alkanes. Alkanes, you know that they have the general formula CnH2n plus 2. That means it is saturated. It contains only sigma bonds in them. And when we check the chemical properties of alkanes, you find that alkanes do not undergo chemical reaction towards acids, bases or oxidizing agents and reducing agents. Why is it so? Because it contains only strong sigma bonds in them and it is difficult to break the sigma bonds. So the only possible chemical reaction that is present, it is known as substitution reaction. What do you understand by substitution? Substitution reactions are those in which one or more atoms in the alkanes get substituted or replaced by other atoms like halogens, nitro group, sulfonic acid group, etc. So such chemical reactions in which one or more atoms are replaced by other atoms that is known as substitution reaction. So we shall see the reaction between methane and chlorine. The reaction what we are going to discuss here is the chemical reaction between methane and chlorine. You find that when chlorine gets reacted with methane, this happens only in the presence of sunlight. Either sunlight or UV light can be used for the purpose. In the presence of radiation, you find that one or more hydrogen atoms get substituted by chlorine atoms, giving rise to a variety of products which are CH3Cl, that is chloromethane. Then we have CH2Cl2, that is dichloromethane. And it is also extended to CHCl3 that is trichloromethane and finally we get CCl4 that is tetrachloromethane. Along with that you find hydrogen chloride is also liberated. So this is the basic equation. So what happens during the halogenation. It is called halogenation. Here it is chlorine atom that is getting substituted. So in particular this is known as chlorination of methane. So chlorination necessarily happens only in the presence of sunlight. Now, what is the mechanism of chlorination of methane that we are going to discuss? So, what do you understand by mechanism of a chemical reaction? It is the way in which the chemical reaction would have proceeded to give the different products. So, we are going to find out what are the methods by which we get the different compounds. The mechanism that is followed is known as free radical mechanism. Now what do you understand by free radicals? These are species which contain odd electrons in them due to which you find that they are highly reactive because it is unstable. Free radicals are highly reactive in the sense that they have only unpaired electrons in them. Due to the presence of unpaired electrons, it is highly unstable and so it acts as very reactive species. The mechanism follows three simple steps. First one is known as initiation reaction. Second one, it is known as propagation reaction. And the third one is known as termination reaction. 
So what are the different steps involved in the free radical mechanism? We will see one by one in detail. As told earlier, the free radical mechanism occurs in three different steps because it is a chain reaction. First step is known as the initiation step wherein you find that the free radicals are produced in the step. First, the chlorine molecule undergoes what is called homolysis in the presence of sunlight. What do you understand by homolysis or homolysis? You find that homolysis is a process in which there is the equal splitting of a bond. Fish hook arrow is used to represent the transfer of one electron to one of the atom. So we know that the bond formed here is consisting of a pair of electrons and these pair of electrons if it is split equally in the presence of light that is known as homolytic fission and homolytic fission always leads to the formation of free radicals so here you find that two free radicals that is two chloride of chlorine free radicals are produced and this free radical is highly unstable and that is initiating the further reaction this homolysis occurs because the CL-CL single bond is weaker than the bonds that are present in alkanes. So the relatively unstable free radicals will be ready for the attack on the alkane. So the next step involved is known as the propagation step wherein the free radical produced will attack the alkane. So here you find the alkane is methane. We are writing it as CH4 and we have four sigma bonds ready to be attacked. So one of the chlorine free radical will attack the hydrogen or the CH sigma bond here and it will result in a free radical. So how does the reaction occur? Here you find that this homolysis occurs and here this electron will be moving towards uh, carbon and one electron will move towards hydrogen that will combine with the CL to form HCl. So you get C H3 which I have written together this is methyl free radical plus HCl. Now the methyl free radical that is produced will attack a new chlorine molecule. So in the next step CH3 radical will go and attack another chlorine molecule. So here Again, it will result in the combination. Here, the uh, single covalent bond will break. It will join together with the carbon and it will form CH3Cl. So, one product is obtained. Along with that, it will also release Cl radical. This Cl radical further attacks the next CH bond of CH3Cl. So what do you have in the next step? The CH3Cl <coughs> is attacked by the Cl radical. So here you find that the CH bond gets attacked by the CL radical. So that will combine to form HCl and now what you get? We again get a free radical on carbon that is it is forming CH2Cl radical. This CH2Cl radical 
is attacking a new chlorine molecule CH2Cl radical will attack a new chlorine molecule again the combination occurs here it is homolysis that is occurring it will combine together with carbon and it will form the new product what is the new product form here you get ch2 cl2 so this is our next compound that we get as the product along with that in another cl radical it gets liberated the propagation step proceeds further by the attack of ch cl radical on ch2 cl2 so i write ch2 cl2 as ch single bond h cl2 plus cl radical so this will attack on the hydrogen liberating the new free radical so which is the new free radical obtained here you get ch radical cl2 plus hcl this won't stay like that it will again attack on a new cl2 molecule so then it forms ch cl2 plus cl2 molecule it will undergo again homolysis this will break it will combine together and this will release another cl radical so what is the next product obtained the next product obtained will be ch cl3 which is our third product on further reaction you find that the ch cl3 molecule is again attacked by the cl radical and this occurs step wise resulting in hcl and another carbon free radical so which is the carbon free radical that is obtained c radical cl3 plus hcl so will it stay like that you find that again the attack happens and that results in cl c cl3 radical attacking on a new molecule of chlorine resulting in the formation of the final product liberating chlorine free radical so you get c cl4 plus cl radical so these are the different steps involved in propagation reaction so on analysis we find that every time there is a liberation of a free radical so first step you find that the cl radical that is produced is attacking the ch sigma bond in turn it will the ch three radical that is produced will attack on the cl2 a fresh molecule again it will produce the product and liberate another cl radical the cl radical again attacks on the ch sigma bond releasing hydrogen chloride and producing a new carbon free radical this carbon free radical further attacks a new molecule of chlorine and then we get the product ch2cl2 and liberating chlorine free radical so you find that in all the steps there is the evolution of a new free radical and this free radical is proceeding the reaction further and we get different products hope this is clear so these steps together that is coming under what is called propagation steps
so the reaction proceeds as long as you have maximum amount of reactants left over the free radicals that are produced will further initiate the reaction and you find the products are formed in plenty now we should end the chemical reaction for that we have the next step which is known as the termination step so how can this chain reaction be terminated you find that the termination step can be of any of these types that is the chlorine free radicals produced in the different steps can combine together to form cl single bond cl that is chlorine molecule can be produced so another step is ch3 radical that is produced in the second step will react with chlorine and terminate the reaction there so you get the product ch3cl or else you can also think of ch3 radicals produced in plenty when they combine together that will result in ch3 single bond ch3 so you may get any of these products it can be chlorine molecule it can be chloromethane it can be even ethane molecule so this chemical reaction wherein we are substituting all the hydrogen atoms of methane by chlorine this is known as chlorination of methane and chlorination of methane always happens in the presence of light so either it can be in the presence of sunlight or it can be in the presence of ultraviolet radiations and this happens at a very high temperature why this happens this is happening because the alkanes can only undergo substitution reaction and you find that the rate of the reaction will be in the order tertiary greater than secondary greater than primary also halogenation follows the order fluorination is the maximum followed by chlorination then bromination and iodination so you find that all these follow the chain reaction that means we have the mechanism which is of free radical mechanism and hope this is clear thank you